Video games and controversy go hand in hand. After all, this is still a relatively young medium, and as a result, the decades since its inception have seen a multitude of games pushing their luck and releasing incredibly offensive material. On the other hand, you've also had moral outrages being spun out of content that we would find tame today, but sparked absolute hysteria at the time. So, looking at gaming's Wild West period, I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com, and these are the 10 most controversial video game moments of the 2000s. Number 10, Mass Effect becomes a casualty of misinformation. How well do you remember the original Mass Effect? I mean, do you recall just how smutty and offensive it was? I mean, what with all of those hardcore porn scenes of aliens getting drilled in all kinds of gooey extraterrestrial holes? It truly was one of the most shocking explicit games that I ever set eyeballs on. Truly sickening stuff. If you've played the games, you're probably thinking right about now, hang on, did I miss something about these titles? But if you only ever read news stories from non-gaming outlets about Mass Effect at the time, you probably would be believing everything I just said and taking it as fact. That's because Mass Effect was dubbed a sex simulator game by some at the time, with parents outraged that their children were allegedly being allowed to engage in virtual sex games. Shockingly, all of the accusations turned out to be completely false, as the most daring thing that the game so-called romances did was show a little bit of skin in a single scene towards the end of the game. Yet that didn't stop some in the media from going to war against it. Number 9. The Punisher almost joins the adults only club. There's nothing particularly remarkable about THQ's The Punisher. Like many games released during the midway point of the noughties, it featured a generous helping of violence, a side of torture, and a sprinkling of dismemberment. Anyway, the point is that it was a violent game no doubt, but no more so than most other mature action games on the market at the time. Don't forget either that this was the exact same year that saw the release of Resident Evil 4, which featured most of the same grisly acts. Still, that didn't stop the superhero rum from being threatened with an adults-only certificate at the time, a rating which would have effectively banned it from the most popular consoles on the market. As a result, across most international markets, the developers were forced to censor the violence in highly specific ways in order to avoid being hit with the most extreme of ratings, a fate it fortunately managed to avoid after a little bit of tinkering. Number 8. Silicon Knights is forced to recall and destroy all copies of Two Human. People fall out all the time. I mean, approximately every 3.5 hours-ish, Scott and I have our regular fallout over whether or not L.A. Noir is a great game. I mean, it obviously is, I know. Thanks for agreeing with me. Take that, Scott. Going back to fallouts generally now, though, whether it's a petty argument, full-blown row, or a court case involving unpaid royalties, the reason for the kerfuffle is often always the same thing, that both parties think they're right and the other one is wrong. Whatever the truth, though, in the case of Silicon Knights and their doomed action RPG 2 Human, the courts agreed that the developers had been rather lackadaisical when it came to paying their fees to use Epic Games' Unreal Engine 3. You know, the thing that entire games are built with. Ultimately, this led to the former's bankruptcy, the cancellation of two planned sequels, the dissolution of all marketing materials, and the issuing of an order to withdraw all games that had utilised the engine that they made so they could be destroyed. That's as close as you can possibly get to wiping an entire game from existence, Men in Black style. Number 7. The Sims 2 lets you see your character's genitals, or lack thereof. If you don't know, The Sims is a gaming series all about meticulously creating a facsimile of a real-life person while decorating their lovely house, before finally trapping them in a room with no doors or windows, lighting a fire, and watching the light extinguish from their eyes. Or at least, that's what I know from my own experience, I can't say I'm a huge fan or anything. Anyway, because the games are so customizable, it's almost as if EA saw this one coming and retroactively made sure that there was nothing whatsoever to see when someone decided to start messing around with The Sims 2's core in order to remove the pixelated nether regions of its world's inhabitants. Despite the fact that EA's EULA, you know, all the legal stuff, expressly forbade the tampering of any game code for which it owned, people still went out ahead and did it anyway. As it turned out though, those fictional humans had no modesty to protect at all, as the space between their legs featured nothing more than a bare patch of skin. Which in itself kind of raises a curious question, I mean, where in God's name do sim babies even come from? I don't know, that's, that's, that's not something I want to dwell on in this video. Number 6. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas' Hot Coffee Mod 
You know the drill with this one, drug use, explicit language, crime, violence and sexual themes are all part and parcel as far as any Grand Theft Auto game is concerned, but San Andreas went that little bit further on the controversial scale. I am of course talking about the Hot Coffee mod, which, despite being labelled as such, was actually a scene originally constructed by Rockstar but omitted from the original release for, well, pretty obvious reasons that we'll get to. Despite being omitted from the finished game, there are still some pretty talented amateur modders out there, thus resulting in the cut content being unofficially reinstated and enabling players to experience CJ getting intimate with his chosen partner in its full, crudely animated glory. The resulting fallout led to San Andreas being reclassified as an adults-only product, forcing Rockstar to re-release the entire game with the offending code removed to get the rating lowered. Number 5. Resident Evil 5's pre-release trailer is accused of racism. Following up one of the most successful video games of all time was never going to be easy, but Capcom didn't really give themselves much of a helping hand when they dropped the first reveal trailer for Resident Evil 5 to a bevy of backlash and critical think pieces. That's because the trailer reintroduced white protagonist Chris Redfield now on duty in a fictional part of Africa, as he battled his way through huge amounts of black enemies who, thanks to a biohazard infection, acted like mindless savages. Unsurprisingly, the announcement of a game where you control a military-style white dude who's rampaging around Africa had a lot of people taking a step back and saying, I don't know mate, that sounds a little bit dodgy. Immediately after this, the game was inundated with articles sounding off about whether the game was contributing to racist narratives and representations, which only increased when the full thing was available and we all got to paw over it. Number 4. Grand Theft Auto 4 Goes Full Frontal GDA had always garnered controversy due to its portrayal of sexual themes, whether that was the ability to pick up sex workers or the aforementioned hot coffee controversy, but this time they were actually in trouble for something still incredibly rare in video games today, that being full frontal male nudity. In the stellar Lost in the Damned DLC for GTA 4, fans were uh, treated to the full bollocko naked body of a middle-aged congressman. I like to think that in the intervening years between the Hot Coffee mod and this, that the wider world came to accept the fact that just because it's a video game in which the graphic imagery appears, we shouldn't immediately grasp for a descriptor that suggests offence. Then again, I only like to think that because since this game came out, Sony is still censoring butt cracks with lens flares, so I don't really know whether our reckoning with video game nudity has truly come on that far. But still, at the time, seeing this guy's member garnered plenty of controversy despite being in an expansion as that didn't stop parental advisory groups jumping on the opportunity to issue public warnings about the scene. If only these things had an 18 age rating plastered all over them, eh? Number 3. John Romero, Edgelord the 2000s kicked off with one of the most infamous video game controversies of all time, a piece of edgy marketing that has aged like milk more for being cringy as hell than outright offensive. After helping create the likes of Doom and Wolfenstein, veteran game designer John Romero ventured out on his own in order to create the next big thing, a game called Die Katana, which was supposed to blow his previous efforts out the water. In order to convince people of this, the game's marketing adopted a brash arrogant tone as if its quality was already a fog on conclusion. This was famously summed up in a controversial poster for the title, which was a simple red background featuring the words, John Romero's about to make you his bitch. Years later, Romero conceded that the poster probably wasn't a good idea and essentially just burned bridges with fans who already thought that he was a bit of an overconfident knob, but it still lives on in the annals of gaming history. Number 2. Manhunt gets blamed for every conceivable crime. The phrase double standards quickly comes to mind whenever I think of Manhunt's tumultuous history, which admittedly isn't all that often considering the last game in the series dropped when I was but a boy all the way back in the year 2007. A game about executing people in increasingly brutal ways, having become the bogeyman of video games, Rockstar North's survival horror game has survived accusations of inspiring a real life murder, teaching kids how to execute people, and being likened to a snuff movie. And yet, after all that posturing and after all of that controversy, Manhunt is really no more offensive than a 70s horror B-movie flick, its reputation vastly overshadowing the reality that far, far worse things are just as stones thrown away. Number 1. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2's No Russian Level 
Because Call of Duty was the biggest franchise in the world at the end of the 2010s, it's unsurprising that it also features the biggest controversy. The infamous no Russian level has been talked about to death, and you probably already know it beat for beat. But for the three people in the audience unaware, let's briefly go over the setup. Here, in this level titled No Russian, you play as an American agent undercover in a terrorist organization who is about to execute a massacre in an airport. You carry an LMG and partake in the killings as the terrorists gun down hundreds of unsuspecting civilians. It struck a chord in the media and as a result developers Infinity Ward included an option to skip the scene entirely when the game came out. So that's our list, I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are there any controversies from the 2000s you thought were bigger than these? Let us know and while you're down there could you please give us a like, share, subscribe and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't though, I've been Josh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.